As you may know, the CPU or processor of a computer can potentially reach very high temperatures. Here are all the ways in which they can be cooled. The oldest type of cooling is passive cooling. Passive cooling works by placing either a copper or aluminium heatsink on the CPU. The heat generated is conducted by the metal and the fins aim to increase the surface area in which the heat can dissipate into the air. The most common type of cooling these days is fan. The fan basically extracts the hot air from within the computer. The fan is typically combined with a passive cooling heatsink. There's water cooling. This is effectively a network of pipes which connects the CPU to a radiator with the aid of a pump. The liquid flows through a pipe which is over the CPU. As the CPU is warm, it transfers its heat to the liquid in the pipe which then is pumped to the radiator which aims to get rid of the heat in the liquid. In a way, it has the same effect as having a humongous cooler over your processor. Obviously this can't be done as there's not much space, so the liquid is the medium in which the heat is transferred to. Now Peltier cooling. Peltier is what you get in a fridge. It's a small block which with the addition of electricity becomes hot on one side and cold on the other. By adding a heat sink we can make the hot side cooler. The cooler you make the hot side, the colder the cold side becomes. This is simply placed over the CPU. The main problem is that computer components don't like water and Peltier units tend to become so cold that they start condensing the water vapor in the air. Nitrogen cooling. Simple. You just place a copper pot over the CPU and you pour in some nitrogen. Here's one, here's one that many people are unfamiliar with. Liquid submerged cooling. So as I said before, computers don't like water as water conducts electricity and can shortcut electrical components. That's why you should make sure not to drop that phone in the toilet. Water is conductive, however, that is due to the impurities. When you remove the impurities, you get distilled water, which is non-conductive. So what you do is simply gut your computer and place it into a fish tank full of distilled water. Your computer will run fine and the heat will be moved similar to water cooling. Only difference being that in this method, you're too lazy to set up a network of pipes and instead plonk your computer in an aquarium. So that's the four types of coolings. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe.